What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Globe, welcome back to channel, and welcome to a way to get the best yields out of your fields. Okay, Farming Simulator 22 differs a lot with FS19. FS19, you pretty much just had to plow every once in a while, you had to lime, you planted, you fertilized it twice, and then you pretty much got your best yield out of it. Well, it's a little bit more complicated in Farming Simulator 22. Okay, the first thing I'm going to be showing is what a field looks like if, well, you didn't do anything to it, what the yield looks like on that field. Okay, remember guys though, I might get some stuff wrong on this, that is because I'm still experimenting with everything on this, but yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, we have a field right over here that is full of canola, and as you guys can see, let's go over to here uh let me go right over here we still have seasons on wrong one right there there we go we still have seasons on all that stuff uh crop destructions on periodic plowing is on field stones on lime is on weeds is on so this is if you have everything pretty much on okay but as you see there is definitely definitely weeds in that field so we didn't you know spread spreading herbicide nothing like that uh as you see from the field info down there needs lime never limed it needs plowing never plowed it, didn't do the two times fertilization, nothing has been done on this field. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest this and show basically what the yield would be like if you didn't do that. Also, there is stones in this field, you can't really see it through there, but if you have stones in your field, of course it will also damage your machinery. So it actually hurts your yield and it also damages your mach machinery. I believe if you have stones in your field, it is a 5% uh, penalty on your yield. All right, so let's get in here real quick and let's go ahead and unfold this. There we go. Right, so that unfolds really quick and let's go ahead and harvest this. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of time lapse and I'm gonna show you guys what the yield is. Okay, last pass real quick. And as you see, we got what, maybe about a thousand liters. I don't know if it's gonna get that high, probably about 990. So just finishing this up, we should get a lot better if we actually do the field right. Uh, 990, 993. So 993 liters, that is exactly how much we got on this field. Not very good, let's go ahead and empty this out real quick. So 993, got to remember that one. Okay, let's go ahead and dump that out. Oh yeah, that is dumped out. Okay, let's go ahead and put this back over here and let's actually do the field pretty much the right way. How to get the best yield out of it, at least in my opinion. Okay, so if you come on, you buy a field or you start a game up and your field is like this, you know, freshly harvested and that is it. The first thing is, after every single harvest, the first thing you need to do is you need to mulch. First thing you need to do is mulch. So, where can you find mulchers? Let's go over here. Let's go over to there. And mulchers are, where are they at? There they are right there. Okay, first one is this one right here, the smallest one. This is pretty much if you're going to be doing grapes and uh, olives and all that, which we will be getting into in the later video. But the ones we're looking at is these ones right here. We got the TMC Kinsella TDE 220, the TMS 2300D, the Speedmax 560, which is a roller. Then we got another roller, the Maxi Cut 600, and then the big one, the TJP 610. Uh, we're going to be actually using the Maxi Cut 600. So let's go over and find where our roller is. It is right, not roller, but mulcher. Okay, that right there is the roller this is the mulcher right here all right so let's go ahead and start this up real quick 
So with every single time after you harvest, you need to do this. This gives an extra 5% boost onto your field, which 5% equals up to a lot. Mainly, okay, look how small this field is. Just think if you have like a really, really big field. All right, so let's go ahead and put that down. And as you see, it does definitely change the texture. So you can see, and you just seen right over there. See how I had rocks still in there? Yeah. Okay, let's get done uh, mulching this and we'll get to the next step. Now this field has been fully mulched. Okay, so that step is done. What is next? Let's go over and park this just really quick. Okay, if you go right over here, you can see at the bottom part of the screen says that it needs plowed. So if it didn't need plowing, all you have to do next is cultivate. Okay, we already started our plowing off. We're almost done. And if you guys can see right there, that is actually leaving up some pretty big rocks. Yeah, see how big those ones are compared to... Actually, I think these are all pretty big rocks. So we're definitely going to have to use something to pick these up. Yeah, those are the smaller ones, and you can tell which ones are the bigger ones. Okay. So let's finish up this plowing, and then we're going to have to pick up those stones before we do anything else. Just got a little bit more left to do. I really cannot wait till we get some plow mods on here because, yeah, I'm not very too keen on the angled plows. Not really used to using them either, as you can tell. Okay, about one more pass should be good enough. So, so far what we've done, we've mulched. Uh, let's see, after we mulched, we are now plowing. Then after plowing, we got to pick up those stones. And then after picking up the stones, we have to lime because it says we need lime. And then after liming, that's when you seed. Then after you seed, you roll it. And then after seeding, you can either do herbicide or fertilizer. Uh, I'm probably going to do herbicide. That way I don't have to worry about... Uh, about if we get any weeds or anything like that because if you get weeds that's like i think it's like a 20 percent uh, loss on your uh, yield so that it's actually pretty high if you if you don't have weeds on you don't got to worry about it then okay just one little bit more strip and then we're done you also notice something else too when we're using the stone picker all right so there we go there's that that is done let's just put this thing right over here real quick okay so that's done Okay, next thing is, we're going to be using a stone picker. Where can you find these? Right over here, there's three of them. There's these ones right here, which pretty much just rolls on the ground and picks them up. And then there is the Scorpion 550, which is a lot bigger machine. Okay. Come on, turn the engine on. Okay, and this actually leaves it in a cultivated state. So, uh, I'm not really sure if you have to, act, if you like you know just use this at the beginning if you have to cultivate or not but i'm pretty sure you do all right let's go ahead and lower that down and as you see see the cultivated state and it is picking up those stones which actually picks up a lot of them okay so we're going to go ahead and pick up all these stones i'll see you when we're done Finishing up the last pass. Okay, also, if you have like small stones on the field, you can just roll them. You don't have to use one of these stone pickers. I am just using it because we had some big stones on there, so. Okay, so we're almost done with this. As you see, all the stones are picked up. Also, with the stones you get, you can take them to the debris crusher. Let's see if we go to the cell area real quick. Uh, where is it at? There it is right there. Uh, go. I think it's all the way at the bottom is where stones are. Yep, stones right there. As you see, debris crushing, $92. They'll buy that for. I'm hoping that sooner or later that they will actually make a mod where you can take the stones and make maybe lime or something else like it. 
uh, out of it because it's not really worth it to sell you don't get really that much money okay so that field now has been plowed wait no first it was mulched plowed and now we picked up the stones what is next well it needs lime so let's go ahead and get into the lime spreader which we have some lime already over here and of course if you need to figure out where you can get lime at and where to get the spreader the spreader is right over here it's this one right here uh, see these ones do not but those ones do you see that little bit icon at the very bottom right there okay and then of course you get your lime through like big bags right there uh bleed pallets uh we got let's see is there anything in over here no nothing over there all right so let's go ahead and spread some lime real quick this shouldn't take that long okay and as you see puts a big old white layer onto the field so you definitely know where you've actually got and it is a pretty quick process too so i believe you only have to lime like every three harvests if i'm not mistaken and same thing with plowing plowing i think it's like every like every so often and uh usually when you do corn or any root crops like potatoes or sugar beets see look at this already almost done with it pretty much what three about four passes and then we're done and it didn't well use a little bit of lime but not not as much so let's go ahead and get this last one done. I got the reverse over here real quick. There we go. All right, so now it has been lined. So now mulched, plowed, picked up stones, limed. Okay, the next thing is finally planting some seed down. So let's just put this right over here. Uh, there's the cedar right there. And this is where, of course, you're going to be seeding or you're going to be using a planter to plant like corn or something like that. I'm using the cedar right now. There we go. Also, I probably will be doing a video later on about like, you know, the process of actually doing it maybe with a direct drill too. What I mean by direct drill is whenever you don't have to plow or cultivate. Because I actually haven't really tested that out. I don't know if it puts up stones or anything like that. Okay, just got a little bit more left to do. Also, I forgot to mention, usually when you plow, I believe it doesn't actually bring up any weeds. I believe it doesn't bring up any weeds, but it does bring up, of course, rocks. So you have to get rid of the rocks. I think it's pretty much like a trade-off. You either have to deal with the rocks or you have to deal with the weeds. Because, like, if you use a disc arrow, disc arrow will not bring up any uh, rocks at all. But you have to deal with tons of weeds later on. So it's pretty much just a trade-off. See, since I plowed, I shouldn't actually have to deal with any weeds. Now, if I did, that means I'd have to, you know, get rid of the weeds before, like, it's ready to be harvested. So before we actually, you know, move on to the harvest time, we actually got to do one more thing. And before we actually start uh, fertilizing, and that is we have to get a roller where you can find rollers at. Let's go over to here. There it is right there. There is two rollers, the Dalbo Power Roll 1230 HD and the Mega Roll 2430. These will also compact small stones. So if you have small stones, instead of using the stone picker, you can use these. But after you seed, it is recommended that you actually use this roller. What this roller will do is actually add an extra 5% more yield onto your crop. All right, so let's go ahead and unfold it. The only bad thing about this is you guys will see in a second. Come on. Lower it down. Okay, there we go. And it is rolling. But as you guys can see, you can't really tell the textures that much. I mean, you can tell a little bit. See, look at that. It's hard to tell, like, where you actually been on this. But it is best to actually yield it. Now, when I'm out right here, I can actually see it a little bit better. Well, a little bit better. But this will add an extra 5% more onto my yield. So, let's go ahead and turn this thing around. Come on. I mean, it might help you say, like, you know, if you seed the other direction and then roll it in the opposite direction. Haven't tested that out yet. 
Might be able to see it a lot better. Yeah, so basically what we're doing is we're rolling it. And then after we roll this, that is when we fertilize it. And then that'll give us one stage of fertilization. And then we wait till, you know, it grows maybe that first stage. And then you uh, fertilize it again. Now, if it's the second stage, then you're going to need some, like, narrow tires. Or you're going to ruin your crop if you have crop destruction on. Which I always have it on. Okay, so we are going to finish this up. We got one more pass left to go. Come on. There we go. Okay, that is on the ground. Okay, this should give us the best yield we can actually get in the game. At least for right now. Okay, rolling is done. So let's go ahead and fold that up. Okay, let that go by itself. And I am going to fertilize twice with some liquid fertilizer. Well, we'll fertilize the first time. Wait till it grows a little bit and then fertilize it again. I will actually see you guys whenever it's ready to be harvested, which is the next year in August, since I'm using seasons. Okay, so we're all the way back in August. Okay, so the steps we did, let's see, we mulched first, then we plowed, and then after we plowed, we pick up the stones with the stone picker because we had big stones. If we didn't have big stones, we could have just rolled it, but instead we used the stone picker. And then after we did that, we limed the field because it needed to be limed. And then after we limed it, we seeded it. After we seeded it, we rolled it again. And then we fertilized. Then we waited to basically the first growth stage and fertilized it again. So it has full 100% fertilization. And then now we're at the harvesting stage. I haven't actually took a look at the fields since then. I just basically fast forward time. So let's actually go and take a look at the field. There should be no weeds or anything like that. And as you can tell, no weeds and it looks really good. 100% fertilized, zero weeds. Uh, if you go over to here, then go to, let's go over to our field right there, 44. So if we go right there, turn off the weeds and the plowing and the lime stage. See, it's fully fertilized. Uh, weeds, oh, it looks like there is a little bit. It looks like I missed a little bit of the areas. Uh, let's see, needs plowed. Lime, doesn't need lime or anything like that. Okay, right. so let's actually get the harvester and see actually how much we, uh, how much yield we're gonna get. I believe, what did we get? 995 last time, so we should definitely get a lot more this time. Okay, let's go ahead and start harvesting it. Okay, let's fast forward and see what we get. And here we go. As you see, just from the bottom, we're at least break, hopefully, almost 2,000 liters. That is more than half of what we were at. Wow. So it pretty much doubled our yield. See, 1971. Just think if that was a big field right there. That would be a huge boost. Okay, so 1971. Okay, so as you guys seen right there, that is a way to basically maximize your yields right there. So like I said, let's go over it again. You mulch it. After you mulch it, if it needs to be plowed, you plowed it. If not, then like cultivate it. And then after you do that, you pick up the stones if there's stones. Or, you know, or if, you, or if it's small stones, you can roll it. And then after you do that, then you put down lime if it needs to be limed. And then you seed it, roll it again, and then fertilize fertilize but you know between the fertilizing if you need to put down some herbicide if you're using weeds you need to do that also where you guys can find this let's go over to here let's go under improving yield as you see right there see let's see 
So there are many ways you can take care of your fields and increase its yield. Spread fertilizer twice. That's a plus 23% bonus on it. Spread liming every three harvests is 15%. And using a mulcher on stubble is 5%. So right there, that's what? Uh, let's see, 23, 23, that's 46. Then plus another 15. What is that? Uh, 57, I believe. And then five more right there. That's 62% just right there. And to avoid the 35% yield minus, you have to remove the weeds. Otherwise, it's 20%. And uh, let's see, and use a plow after root crops such as corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane is 15% negative. So that can definitely add up right there. So 20 plus 15 is negative 35% if you don't do that. All right. And then also it tells you if you go down more, it tells you like the different ways you can do it, which I pretty much explained it, you know, doing the uh, rolling, doing the mulching, doing the fertilization, uh, liming, and of course, weeds. Uh, also, if you don't have like, say, like, you know, your weeds on or if you have liming off, then you don't need to worry about that then. See, lime required on. Weeds on, same thing with the plowing and the fields on. So if you don't even have those things, things on, then you don't even need to worry about that. Okay, guys, so hopefully this video did help. I should have the next tutorial video out tomorrow. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Remember, if you guys did, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't subbed, make sure you guys do. Like always, have a nice day, guys. Peace. City life and the crazy nights. You figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out. See what it's all about.